Good evening and welcome to Zambezi News. I'm Jerome Weathers. And I am starting an online petition to have Malawians forcibly expelled from the country. You can sign the petition here. We turn our attention today to the world stage, where right-wing fascists are taking over the world as a refugee crisis reaches breaking point. It just goes to show that not all news is bad news. From the USA to the Netherlands, progress made by social justice warriors is being eroded by a wave of racism and xenophobia, with brutal attacks on refugees leaving many without food, shelter or water. But it's not all puppies and sunshine. I just received the solemn news that this afternoon a Malawian was granted a Zimbabwean passport. It just breaks the heart. We eh? cross now to our foreign correspondent Dilbert Jongwe, who is in London covering the refugee crisis. I am standing here with some refugees who have been through hell and are still suffering from the trauma. In a few words, sir, tell us your story. It was 2012 and I had to flee my homeland. I had to cross thousands of kilometers even to reach the British border. Eh? Wow, what a story. And how long did that take you? About 10 hours. But I was sleeping on most of my flights, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Business class tends to do that to you. And what about you, sir? Tell us about your first impressions of the UK's strict immigration policy. Uh, well, you know, when I rocked up at immigration, the lady was like, hey, where are you coming from? And I was like, South Africa. And she was like, what's the purpose of your visit? So, you know, I was like, you know, holiday, but, you know, I might get a job with my uncle or something. Uh, and then she stamped my passport and uh, let me through. But, but yeah, for a minute, I was like, jeez, yes, I'm not a terrorist, eh? Yeah. Well, Clearly, uh, the refugee crisis is far-reaching uh, than we anticipated. Many would have you believe that you have to be a certain shade of brown or perhaps even darker to suffer the wrath of strict Western immigration policy. The harrowing effects that we've seen that these young South Africans have suffered, whose ancestors fought in the bloody Boer War against the British, are still today a result of them being different. Back to you at the studio. Thank you, Dilbert. Good to know the British are doing something right. You know, Joram, every country needs strong policies and even stronger leaders. Loved by Germans, hated by liberals. A man who spoke the truth and led by example, sniffing out the bad guys. I'm talking, of course, about David Hasselhoff. I think I agree with Mendopi. Britain for the Brits. God save the Queen. Fish and chips. Lager and Pork scratchings. The empire strikes back. Hurrah! Hear, hear. Uh, unless, of course, the refugee or traveler in question is from my tribe. Many from my clan are dwelling in the Europe, making money and thriving. Just take a look. So, sir, could you tell us how long have you been a Windy in London? Ah, well, I moved over here in 2005, yeah, boy, and I noticed there was many vehicles and there was very many people on this transport, but there was no wind, so there was a gap in the market, you know? Like a true entrepreneur, I decided I uh, get on these transports and charge people, I tell them where to sit, and I make some money, yeah? Absolutely fascinating. Ah, yeah, yeah. And, and what kind of challenges do you face in this work? Ah, well, you see, here yeah, the drivers and, and the staff, man, they, they, they don't work with us. We have all this, but I, it's, I have to hustle. It's, it's very difficult, but it's fine. I, yeah. And what's the fastest vehicle that you've ever ridden? Yo, uh, nah, that's a good one, that one. Uh, last week I got on a train to Bradford, my man. 120 kilometers per hour. Yeah, it was going. Yeah, so that was, yeah, that was great. Must have been absolutely thrilling. Oh, no, it was brilliant, man. It was fantastic. But uh, back in South Buhera district, uh, I used to be a windy for a driver called Onismo Maniza. Ah, that one, he was, hey, Vongoba, a.k.a. Vongoba, he was, yeah. So I was ready, I was prepared. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. And, and what's next for you? No challenge too high? No such thing, my man. I'm aiming for the sky. But now I just decided I'm going to be the first windy on the aeroplane. You know? Yeah, yeah. Just in fact, last week I bought myself a ticket to Glasgow with my earnings. So, uh, nah, you, you, you look out for that one. It, yeah, it shall be, yeah. Absolutely extraordinary. Thank mm. you very much, sir. Uh, Good luck on your quindy Thank you, my man. Uh, no problem. No, on this one. Yeah, we have one. Which one? Yeah. Sharp. Yeah. Short one. Yes, sir. Who was that, Colonel? It was Zimbabwe. 
They're leaving the African Union. What? That's insane. How will they survive? They don't even have an economy of their own. Sir, you don't understand. The government didn't make the call. Our hands are tied. What do you mean? Who damn well did then? Everyone else. Okay? It'll all be fine, I promise. But Daddy, I can't. You have to, darling. You have to. I understand that. But I need five rand for the combi. They're not going to take any Zim dollars. No. It's like they've thought of everything. Will there be anybody left, Baba? Maybe, darling. That looks like your typical piece of Zollywood propaganda created by Ian Smith and his children. On to more important matters. We have in the studio one of the most Zimbabwean Zimbabweans in Zimbabwe, the Minister of Impending Projects. Good evening, sir. You are honored. Let's cut to the chase. Malawians, why are they here and not in Malawi? Great question, in the words of Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, Mandape, uh, the thing about Malawians is that they're not all bad. Ah, impossible. Uh, impossible. Let me finish, comrade. Um, they're not all bad at cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, but in all seriousness, uh, 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 elections are coming up. Mm. And we are running law of what we call uh, the escaping god. Mm. Uh, white farmer, escaped god. MDC, escaped god. The West, escaped god. So this year we need fresh meat. Mm. Ah, that's great. Uh, what's the plan? Uh, we intend to put a Malawian in every government department and parastata. Uh, that way, uh, when the economy somehow fails even more, we will blame everything on the Malawians. <laughs> Genius. I know. W when will you roll out this project, Minister? Uh, this project does not fall under my jurisdiction. Uh, I focus uh, uh, mainly on impending projects. Uh, mm. uh, agriculture, industry, uh, the economy, mm. uh, things that are constantly in process and never completed. This is an urgent project, and it will be in more rapid and effective hands than mine. <laughs> well, I look forward to reaping the benefits. A final question, Minister. Uh, will you be keeping the Malawian maids and garden boys after the rest have gone? <laughs> of course, comrade, of course. <laughs> we wouldn't be so short-sighted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I for one will be on the front line at the airport waving Malawians off with tears of joy. <laughs> Lizzie, will you be there? Good afternoon, Mr. Chima Chambal Chowdhury. Welcome to the show. May I call you Deepak? Of course. Thank God. So, milk, how did it form and what are your plans for it? Well, Liz. Milk was formed because we felt left out of the fridge of key processes like pasteurization key processes that were fast tracked and we think in decision makings in our country we believe that is best before 28th of August 2016 sorry please carry on before a decision is made we need to consult the community we are powerful, we are dedicated, and we will not let bullies in government boss us around anymore. But Deepak, surely you see nothing stopping milk from becoming a key ingredient in important government decision making. But there is. We know that milk... Shake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, whoa, it's better than yours. <laughs> this is outrageous. You have no respect for us. This is... Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> well, there you have it. 
Brexit in Britain, Zexit in Zimbabwe, Malexit for Malawians, and milk. Thanks for joining us at Zambezi News. <laughs>